What should I be considering when I'm building my brand if I plan to take it to foreign markets? One of the most important things to consider when looking at foreign markets is whether your brand or your IP can be used in that foreign market. Something we see a lot when we're dealing with foreign startups is that someone has created a product in another country. Let's call it Uber, okay? And, and they have created this product in Slovenia, okay? And it's taken off there and they've proven the concept and they've gotten some funding in their angel round and they're getting off the ground. And things look good, users are scaling, They've captured their, their trademark, whether you know that's in Slovenia itself or in the EU IPO, which is basically the European Union's version of our patent trademark office here in the US. And they're ready to, to come into the US and, and come meet you know, investors and get going. And only at that point, once everything's really moving great, do they find out that someone has that trademark here in their industry. And, and so especially for tech startups, especially when you start seeing scale, the most important thing to do is go to the major markets you plan to be in, whether that's the Western European markets through the EU IPO or, you know, for, for many and most startups, the American market and begin making sure you can secure that trademark here or else you may have to change your company name or or secure some sort of coexist or buyout agreement from the existing trademark holder.